we are going to train your English voice to use in spite of and despite. You learned about although in the vocabulary. This means we want to state two opposite facts. Though on its own is also used in the same way. In other words, to state two opposite facts. But normally it's at the end of a sentence. So let's have a look at sentence one using the word although. He won the debate although I didn't agree with him. So this sentence contains two facts. The first fact is that he won the debate. The second fact is that I didn't agree with him. Both of these facts relate to the debate, but they seem to be opposite facts. And I'm joining them together with the word although. Now have a look at sentence example two using the word though. He won the debate. I didn't agree with him though. So this sentence means exactly the same as sentence one, but instead of using although in the middle of the sentence, I used though at the end of the sentence. Another way to say something like this is to use in spite of and despite. All of these mean there are two opposite or surprising facts being stated. So have a look at sentence example one. In spite of not agreeing with him, I am glad that he won the debate. So here I have two facts, but it seems to be surprising that I'm glad he won, considering the fact that I don't agree with him. So I use the word in spite of to show two facts that seem to be opposite and they are surprising. Sentence example two. I am glad that he won the debate despite not agreeing with him. This sentence means the exact same as the first sentence using the words in spite of. Excellent job today. Well done. Goodbye.